All right, you guys, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be finally doing the review and also mounting of my common water block on the Gigabyte GeForce 3090 Ti. And we're going to take this absolute chungus of a GPU. As you can see, it is just absolutely massive. And we're gonna turn it into a single slot card, which will be significantly smaller and significantly skinnier, and then be able to finally mount it into my server chassis and therefore water cool the entire card and also make it actually fit properly. So let's get into it now. All right, so the first step that we're going to do is we're going to need to remove the original heatsink. Once we've removed that heatsink, you can see that we have now exposed the pads, so those are going to need to go first. All right, and with the pads now removed, we are going to move on and actually clean up the old thermal paste off of the GPU. All right, so now that we have those removed, what we're going to need to do next is put on the new pads. You can see them on here and also put on new thermal paste. With that piece out of the way, we can finally concentrate on actually mounting this water block to the GPU itself. Now, it is worth mentioning that you'll need to put on the back plate first before you can screw everything together. And in my case, I had to torque it a little bit to the side so that everything came nicely together. And finally, you can see the finished product right here. As you can see, it looks really sleek. It's very thin, uh, definitely a lot thinner than it was before. And it also shortens the card by quite a fair bit, which means that now you can mount this in any sort of SFF chassis. It also means that it can fit in a lot smaller cases than you would have otherwise with an air cooler or even most of the other aftermarket cooling solutions that are out there, even including the ones from Corsair, which are already fairly skinny. But this is one of the skinniest designs that exists so far. All right, so at this point, a bunch of you guys are probably wondering what is the size of this thing? How does it compare to other cards? And here I have the GTX 1070 Katana by, I believe it's Galax that made this card. And so you can see in terms of the length, it's just a little bit longer, maybe just like, like an inch. If you consider the fact that it's going to have to have protruding water fittings um, overall, but Considering the size, you can see that these are completely flush. So the two cards are the same exact thickness now compared to what it would be, for example, with any other water block. And then if you just take a look at them sort of, you know, one on top of the other. Now, obviously, the, um, the 3090 is going to be a much deeper card. It's a much thicker card in terms of its overall length. So you can kind of see here if we actually put the two cards exactly kind of side by side here, um, then you can see that obviously it is, you know, a decent chunk bigger here. But again, you have to consider the fact that the 3090 started out having an absolutely massive block. I'm gonna just bring this guy over here so you guys can see. So before we had this, and now it's gone to this. So just a massive reduction in size, of course, um, for the entirety of the card. And again, when you compare that with the Galax 1070 Katana, again, another kind of, you know, fairly rare card, you can see that the size difference is honestly not even that big in terms of what you're getting um, overall. So the profile is now significantly skinnier. It also now means that I'm going to actually be able to fit this guy um, into my case, into my server case and uh, hopefully from that point forward it's just gonna run and we'll have no issues so stay tuned for the next update in this video and we'll go from there all right so at this point a bunch of you guys are probably wondering what is the size of this thing how does it compare to other cards and here i have the gtx 1070 katana by i believe it's galax that made this card and so you can see in terms of the length, it's just a little bit longer, maybe just like, like an inch. If you consider the fact that it's going to have to have protruding water fittings um, overall, but considering the size, you can see that these are completely flush. So the two cards are the same exact thickness now compared to what it would be, for example, with any other water block. And then if you just take a look at them sort of you know, one on top of the other. Now, obviously the, um, the 3090 is going to be a much deeper card. It's a much thicker card in terms of its overall length. So you can kind of see here, if we actually put the two cards 
exactly kind of size by side here, um, then you can see that obviously it is, you know, a decent chunk bigger here. But again, you have to consider the fact that the 3090 started out having an absolutely massive block. I'm gonna just bring this guy over here so you guys can see. So before we had this, and now it's gone to this. So just a massive reduction in size, of course, um, for the entirety of the card. And again, when you compare that with the Galax 1070 Katana, again, another kind of, you know, fairly rare card, you can see that the size difference is honestly not even that big in terms of what you're getting um, overall. So the profile is now significantly skinnier. It also now means that I'm going to actually be able to fit this guy um, into my case, into my server case and uh, hopefully from that point forward it's just gonna run and we'll have no issues so stay tuned for the next update in this video and we'll go from there